The shells of destroyed buildings line the beaches of southwest Nigeria's Ayatoro, a coastal area witnessing the economic and social devastation of rising sea levels. Two decades of climate change-induced disasters, including severe flooding and storm surges, have reduced the once thriving community of 30,000 inhabitants to around just 5,000. The most recent ocean surge happened in April of 2023 and resulted in the destruction of hundreds of homes. I was on bed when the water came up. So around three o'clock in the midnight, and I just went, well, it was someone that even called me that water is already in my frontage. So when I just moved out, everywhere was, was full of water. So I have to, I have to rescue some, some of my stuff from there. Like two days, everything just, go inside the sea, so we can't take anything from that building. Residents tell local news agencies their homes used to be a good three kilometers from the sea. Today, they're about 750 meters. The frustration with a lack of government intervention is palpable. The wave will be increasing, increasing, until you will no more come near it. Nobody will be able to come near it. More than three quarters of this community has been taken away by the sea more than three quarter. According to a World Bank report, a half meter rise in the sea level could force the relocation of more than 50 million coastal Nigerians by the end of the century.